What is the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. V1.1 is now live. You can start enjoying it now, it says. Um, but yeah, we'll get into it in a couple of minutes. We're going to give a quick rundown of everything new in season two and in V1.1. As you can see here, there's a season break logging campaign. There's also an AS Roma Triumph campaign. Um, Barcelona Legends, we'll get to that in a sec Chelsea feature players or trending players uh, We'll get to those in a sec And there's also a couple of new challenge events There's two for the offline against the AI And there's one versus um, user to user, you know, P PvP uh, So yeah, I mean the first thing obviously that you guys will notice Is you'll probably have a couple of, um, you know, well, a lot of a lot of information there So I've covered that in a previous video um, you've got your login bonus and you've also got your login bonus here, which is GP. So you've got one nominating contract, one GP. Um, so we'll just receive those, uh, depending on if you had signed a manager or not, a youth manager, uh, you would have also got reimbursed for that as well. But yeah, let's get into kind of the ticket things, right? We'll start with the most, I think, important or depending on your view of it the most you know the biggest updates right so we've got objectives from the main menu here um if we go in here obviously the premium objectives they're going to be added i would assume they will be added when we do have the uh match pass the premium match pass that you'll be able to buy so they'll be tied to that but the objectives here seem to be split between career objectives and weekly objectives, right? So the weekly ones are time dependent on, you know, the actual week that they're tied to. So similar to the, the trending players, ends in six days, weekly objectives. And we can just scroll down through these here. And they seem to be a mix of the PES 2021 My Club kind of objectives, which were like, you know, sign a player, train a player, get some uh, GP or get some coins or whatever. Um, so if you go into this one, it says achieved by the number of of matches played uh so you have to play two matches there match results will not affect achievement status so this is basically just playing two matches so um i mean yeah i'm a bit disappointed with these objectives i mean this is this is obviously in its infancy and it's not making excuses um but i do think that they massively need to expand these even from first impressions you know what i mean like we want in-game stuff we want dynamic stuff we want stuff that's a bit of a challenge not just like participation awards for just playing games that's just my opinion on it um i think objectives are a brilliant idea but yeah i mean this stuff isn't gonna fly Maybe when the premium stuff comes in, that's what they're probably holding out for to give people, you know, the the, the premium match pass stuff. Um, but we've got a lot of different objectives there, wins, goals, matches. So the matches, obviously, you get trainers, the wins, you get GP, and the goals, you get GP. So I do like this one, obviously. Um, play ongoing challenge event matches and score goals achieved by the number of goals scored. So yeah, that is going to be there. And then you obviously, if you get one for uh, player progression and for training a player. So that is pretty much the weekly ones that's going to be tied. They'll be changing every six days. And then the career objectives have no, um, they've got no expiration date on the time of them. You can do these wherever. You can already see that I've done two. Um, so there's a lot of different ones. It's just uh, achieved by completing a certain amount of objectives. So as many objectives as you can possibly do, and you start to get a lot of, uh, a lot of GP and stuff. Um, and then it's again total matches clean sheets total wins like I like this one clean sheets because it, it gives you something to kind of play for um, total wins total goals again the goals and the clean sheets are kind of are kind of where I want to go with it um, and I do look I like that there's something extra to play for now um, we will have to see we're going to play one match and see you know if we can unlock one and does it pop up is it dynamic or is it just wait until the end of the game but there's a load of them like there's a load of stuff here so there's ones for obviously for dream team the challenge events then there's ones for divisions which is eFootball league then you've also got wins against the ai match uh level regular or, or above so i presume that these stack so if you win on legend you'll unlock the rest of these similar to most games and how they stack achievements and stuff changing your game plan changing your manager um changing your team play style increase your collective strength inc increase your team play style play with possession long ball counter long ball quick counter out wide conduct level training conduct level player progression develop players to max level player released total number of players signed number of players signed standard list specialist 
nominating contract, number of manager signed. So look, the breadcrumbs are there for them to expand this massively. As of right now, it is a bit disappointing, but it's the first day of it. And obviously we have yet to see what the premium ones are going to be. I think it's a really good idea. And I do appreciate that they are bringing stuff like this in. But again, they, you know, this needs to bang for them because it's a big, it's a big kind of selling point of a free to play game that you're going to have stuff to actually play for. So I'm really looking forward. And I think there's a lot of pressure on now to see what those premium objectives are going to be, because I would imagine that they're going to be tied to players and specific, you know, maybe like special edition players or special edition trainers or e-football points or something like that. So getting back in with this video or getting back on with this video, um, just to confirm for a few people that were asking as well, uh, we've got the special player list. So we've got the legendary players this year are the three Barcelona boys, Iniesta, Ferrer, 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 Russia, and uh, Patrick Clivert, who, again, Iniesta looks insane, um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know will I be spinning for these, because even Iniesta is probably not going to get into my squad at the moment, um, I will probably try to get Kante, I mean, he's got really, really nice stats, um, but again, he's C form, and he's got standard form as well, uh, but he's got really, really nice stats, um, and the rest of the Chelsea boys there as well, that you guys can see, um, that's them there, so yeah, I mean, if you're looking to improve your squad, I mean, Havertz is a is a really good player um, as well. Mendy, I mean, this is Reese James would be very good as well. But yeah, if you're looking to improve your squad, it's not worth. It's not bad if you if you spin the three of those. Um, we're actually going to spin for the three of those right here, right now, while we're live. Uh, just to let you guys know who we get. So yeah, I mean, I would like Kante to pair up and have to be be able to rotate in with Goretzka. Uh, but Patrick Vieira is going to be my main man. So it's five star. It could be Paddy V, lads. It, or it could be Paddy V. It could be, who is it? That's Havertz. Oh, nice. So Havertz is actually one of the better players that I would have liked. And there we get the objective. Okay, so that's dynamic. I like that, to be honest with you. I like that pop up. Um, I know it's a small little thing. Um, but obviously, the, the reason why I like Havertz is he can play a lot of different positions. And he's got really nice stats, lads. Um, he's 22 as well. But we will continue to open up these three agents. Um, but yeah, I mean, the thing with the objectives is it's it's going to be a talking point, isn't it? It's going to be a talking point of where uh, where the game is actually going to be going in the future. Because at the end of the day, uh, you know, you have to have something to play for. Who's this? Rudiger, who's obviously left the club now or is going to be leaving this summer. Another good player. But again, he's not going to change the dial for me, lads, to be honest with you. Um and I do get those objectives again, and I will go. I'm going to have to go in and claim those. So I think you're going to let the objectives stack, aren't you? You're not going to be going in every five seconds to get the objectives completed, and you know, like you're not going to be, you're not going to be Monty Burns walking around there with two thousand GP from an objective, you know. So I am, I am very kind of. There is a bit of pressure on them, Jorginho or Kovacic. There is a bit of pressure on them to to have the have the objectives quite decent, you know. Um, that's just my opinion but yeah obviously we're after signing our three agents there so the other agents as I said are the Scottish Premier League the Cinch Premier League for April so they're with nominating contracts and I think probably the pick of them will be Jota and uh, Tavernier uh, he's got really fast pace this guy really good player but you can't level them guys up so they're probably not really worth um, you know, purchasing in my opinion. But if you've got a couple of nominating contracts lying around, which I do have, they are probably worth a pop if you're if you're looking to test out a few players. So on to the other aspects of this, just to confirm as well, a few people were saying that the players might increase in value. As of now, they haven't. All the players that I've checked here seem to have the exact same value um, that they had before V1.1 went live. So that's just to confirm that. And also with the managers, we, we have now got the coaching affinity with the young players. Obviously, there was a few issues with that. They have now fixed that issues and those issues and the players seem to be or the managers seem to be back um, there just for confirmation. So he'd be looking like a good manager if you're looking for a young squad. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it from that side of things. And then obviously we've got the match stuff. So, yeah, unfortunately, lads, and to be honest with you, I actually don't know. I mean, obviously, eFootball League is the is the main mode to be playing here because we've got no offline mode such as, you know, Master League or anything like that. Um, 
but like eFootball League is still grayed out. You can't play it. So I don't know why that has been delayed. I know they said that it was probably going to be delayed from the 2nd to the 3rd. Um, but I don't know, man. I mean, they need to get the divisions back out. I think it's after it's after sucking a lot of the, the air out of the balloon that was there, the hype balloon, because everyone was playing it. Everyone was enjoying divisions. I mean, I had more fun playing divisions than I had in a long, 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 long time playing 1v1 eFootball or a PES game. Um, so we're just left for, uh, with events for now. So hopefully, you know, it, it comes quite soon. We obviously have the we obviously have the Starter Cup and then we've got two AI match uh, events and we've got one user. So obviously you'd be playing with your dream team in that. Um, but yeah, the eFootball League is a massive, massive issue, I think, at the moment. They just need to get it back, man, because the one thing you want is people you know, annoyed or frustrated uh, that they can't play the main mode, but you need to be able to deliver that then, you know, or looking forward to it. You don't want people annoyed, I should say. I, I mean is that, like, it's not the worst thing in the world if people are, like, complaining that they actually can't play a mode that they're enjoying. I mean, a lot of game developers would, would crave that, you know, that people are, are dying to play the game. And then we've also got the events here for the Authentic Teams, which is a Scottish Premier League one as well, SBL. Um... So, yeah, I mean, look, lads, that is kind of all the news that we have there for that. Uh, we're just going to go in here and play one of these. Uh, we would pick Celtic for this one. Um, and, yeah, I mean, let's just have a little chat about it. You know, I'll probably see you guys at kickoff and we can chat then when, when we find a game. Um, okay, matchmaking unavailable at the moment. Okay, right. So there's no matchmaking online at the moment at all. So even though the events are all there, they haven't switched it on. Oh, man. Oh, God. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's very, very, very annoying. Very annoying in this day and age. But look, they had said that it would be delayed until the third. I'll try to find the screen for that. Uh, maybe if I go back out to the actual information, we probably will be able to find that. Let's see. Just give me two seconds. Right, so new update file, new regular maintenance times. So the maintenance times between two and eight, obviously that's done and dusted now. Um, additional information. Okay, this is it. So phase two of eFootball League, which was, which was originally scheduled to commence on the second, which is today, has been postponed until the third or later. Okay, well, there we go then. That obviously... That obviously explains that the matchmaking isn't up yet. So they're saying that it'll be tomorrow by the, by the earliest. That could roll on. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. That's very disappointing that you can't even play those because the maintenance that they have here is, is done and dusted now. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. But that's it. Look, we'll end the video there. Obviously, we'll try and play maybe a couple of the AI ones um when i'm on my lunch break and stuff uh but yeah let me let me know what you guys think obviously just just to keep you up to date with the latest news and a rundown if you're if you're not able to access your ps5s and checks check what is new um and obviously just to give a, a look at the objectives when you go back into the objectives here and you click on this you click on this there's a lot of clicking man and then you receive all you get your you get your fifteen thousand gp so yeah but let me know what you guys think i mean yeah i, I look personally i for a free to play game for an ever like online game that's you know like online centric at the moment this maintenance needs to needs to improve man this can't happen again for season three or for v1.2 it just can't not in this day and age because people have short memories and they will just move on to something else. So, you know, the fact that I can't go in and play a match here is, yeah, I mean, it's not good enough in this day and age. It's as simple as that. You know, you have to say it out. But yeah, we'll try play a couple of the AI matches. That's just, this video is just to keep you guys up to date with everything. Uh, so let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the objectives, the events, and uh, will you be spinning? So yeah, I'll talk to you later, lads. Peace.